Hey, what's up everyone? This is Music Tech Help Guy, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to import the chord track from one Logic project into another Logic project. Let's say you have a project where you really like the chord progression and you wanna use that as a template for another project. This comes from an email I received, and it's a really great question. My question is about the chord tracks. I have a mix template I use all the time. Is there a way to import the chord track from the project I wrote the song in into my mix template after I've exported the tracks to start working on the mix? So yeah, this is a great question. And if your workflow is that you uh, record and write in one project, and then you export multi-tracks and bring it over to another project, you may still wanna keep track of what chords are being used in the chord progression of the song. So I can see how this might be uh, uh, really helpful. The short answer is no. Uh, in Logic Pro 11, at least uh, at the time of making this video, there's no really good way to import the chord track from one project to another, but I'm gonna show you a workaround that effectively allows you to do the same thing. It takes a couple of little extra Extra steps, but nothing too major. So first, let me show you why you can't do this. And if you wanna skip this part, just use the chapters in the video description below. Okay, so I've got a project here with a chord track. We're not really so concerned about keeping the session player instruments, although those are very easy to import. What we're really concerned about is the chord track. Uh, let's save this project, let's close it out, let's open up a brand new Logic project, and normally you would think, okay, I'm gonna go up here, I'm gonna open up the project browser, I'm going to go to all files, I'm gonna click home, and then I'm going to find the location of the project that I wanna import the chord track from. For me, it's in my music folder and under Logic, it's called chord track. It's right here. And normally you double click on that and you can import different elements of that project into your current project, including regions, automation, sends, routing, all that good stuff. Now, by default, the global tab is probably not highlighted, but when you do highlight the global tab, you'll see that you, you are able to import the marker track, the signature track, the tempo track, and the project notes, but you're not able to import the chord track itself, at least not at the time of making this video. So let's go back to that other project. So that's why you can't do this. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to just create a new software instrument with nothing on it. It's just going to be blank. I don't even need a default patch. I'll pull this up to the top and I'll just call this chords. And then if you click right here on your chord track, you'll see it actually selects all of the chords and all of your chord progressions. And you can just drag and drop this down to the chords track. And what you'll see is this actually copies and pastes the chords up here down onto the region. So you get region chords. Then I can just hit Command S to save. And let's close this out. Let's open up a brand new project. And then we'll go over to the project browser, go to all files, go to home, find that same project. There it is. And now what I can do is I can import that chords region. So all you have to do is import the content for that chords track. Just click add. And what you'll see is it adds in those regions with the region chords. So now what you can do is you just open up your chord track here. You just select all of those regions and you drag it up to the chord track. But one thing you're gonna notice is that the chords have been transposed because we're in a different key, uh, which is actually kind of helpful because if you wanna go to say C sharp minor, you can click transpose, it'll transpose the whole chord progression to C sharp minor. I was originally in E minor. So if I want my original key, I just choose that original key and then I can just drag over these regions and drag them up to the chord track. And now I can add a session player and the session players will all follow that chord progression. So 
So we're not exactly importing the chord track, but we're importing a region with the chords on it and then dragging that up to the chord track. Hopefully they add this feature in a future update, but for now, this is a workaround to make this happen. Now, another method that you may find even a little quicker, uh, depending on your circumstance, is just to open up both Logic projects. So here on the right, I have my original project with the chord track in it, and then I have my new project with no chord progression in it. If you open up both of them at the same time, you can simply click on the chord track, the global track here. This will select all of the chords in that project right click or control click and then select copy, then come over here to the new project, click right here and select paste, and that will paste in all of those chords. Now that may seem like the superior, quicker way to do this, but if you've ever opened up multiple Logic projects uh, at the same time, you know it can be a bit of a slog, uh, meaning that if your first project or even the second project has a lot of instruments in it, a lot of plugins in it, every single time you switch screens, it's gonna have to like deload plugins and then reload plugins. So that's why I didn't show this as the first method, uh, but this is another way to do it, and that's definitely gonna be quicker for you if both of the projects are relatively small uh, in terms of what's in them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. As always, thank you so much for the support and thanks for watching.